Um, can I please get a tall vanilla sweet cream cold brew? Oh, that's good. Also. Yeah. <laughs> Hey vloggy vlog, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, my name is Megan. If you are not new here, welcome. That's a weird angle. My hair looks like a toupee. Okay. Um, this morning, just finished this book, My Body by Emily Radikowski. Radikowski? I don't know. Um, I've had my cup of coffee, had a nice lion. It's like 9.30, 10 o'clock now. I don't know, but I realize I have not talked in this vlog yet. Um, I started it yesterday. It was kind of just a family day, hanging out with my nieces and nephew. And yeah, it is time to get some chores done, do some laundry, clean my bathroom, eat some food, and get ready for this work week ahead. I have to go into the office, so I need to make sure I have all of my stuff together, but yeah, let's get this day started. with my mom we went to Target Lowe's and Home Goods and I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I got although they're not exciting I'm excited about them so let's open up first we have some sea salt seaweed packs I'm going to make that popular TikTok salmon rice bowl type thing and then I have some rice seasoning the futakake seasoning and then I got two new sweaters for work I think they're the same exact thing we have this green one these are kind of over bigger than I was thinking more oversized and then we have one in neutral a nice v-neck sweater not skin tight then we have this pajama dress I've been enjoying wearing oversized tops to bed with no bottoms a new loofah um, I have some beef top ramen I know it's not healthy for me but we don't have like any snacks in this house 
So it's just nice to have something that I can make if I need it. Um, then I got a box of Annie's mac and cheese because it sounded delicious. I got some new hair ties. These are for thick hair. So for all you thick haired girlies that always break your hair ties. I like the ones that are a bit thicker. They wrap around my hair an additional time and are better for me at least. And then next I got the Daily Stoic. I've been seeing this a lot everywhere and honestly for quite a while. And what it is, it's 365 meditations on wisdom, perseverance, and the art of living. Um, it is by Ryan Holiday and Stephen Hanselman. It's like this. And then it has like per day of the year, it's date. It has a date on it for what your meditation and topic should be for that day. And I want to get back into my daily meditation. Um, so I thought that would be a good place to start, especially since it's guided and kind of already there ready for me. And then from Home Goods, I didn't find anything really except for these hair clips. And I thought they were cute and different for me at least. And then we went to Lowe's. I had to get some new pots for my pants. My pants. I had to get some new pots for my plants. Um, I have a fig leaf. Fig leaf? Fiddle leaf? What's it called? A tree that needs a bigger pot. I have another one in my office. And then I have a baby olive tree from Trader Joe's that needs to be potted. And I wanted to get it a bigger one so it could grow and then I can move it into keep getting it humongous. So I went to Lowe's and I got three pots for those plants. One needed a plastic tray. The first one is this one, I believe. This is the one I got for the fig leaf. So it's this, it has a nice texture to it. For my new house, I'm trying to keep it like neutral colors, but like elements of elements, like wood, metal, um, concrete, textures like that. And then I got this one for the one in my office. Again, it's white, but it has this squared off texture to it that I thought would be nice. Of course, not all right next to each other. And then again, another white textured pot for my tree right here. And I thought this would be a good one for that. Again, very inexpensive for pots, especially as big as they are. I think in total for the three pots and the tray, I spent like $100, which I don't think is that bad. Let me know if but I don't think it is. And then last, I got this in the mail. Um, the owner of the Sweaty app, um, what's her supplement company? Tala is her activewear company, and then she has Shreddy, which is the, oh no, Shreddy is her app, not Sweaty. Shreddy, anyways, the owner of that company, Grace Beverly, she came out with goodness she came out with a productivity planner um, and this is her productivity method and I pre-ordered it um, so it looked simple enough and one that you could use whenever it wasn't like dated um, and her concept behind it is simple but also I think effective you don't need a planner to do that her method but in this planner, so you have your quick ticks, your tasks, your projects that you're working on, and your three non-negotiables for the day. So the three things you have to get done, and then everything else is what um, the other things you need to get done but aren't you know, time sensitive or need to get done today. And then you have your schedule, so you could book in your meetings, you could schedule in when you're going to do those um, projects and non-negotiables. Um, and then on the top, it just has your date and one habit I am keeping today. So I think it's very simple. I need to play around with it and kind of, you know, for me, quick ticks and tasks are kind of the same thing. But 
I understand where she's going with this. Hello everybody, happy Tuesday. Um, it is currently six o'clock. I just got home from work. Um, I'm exhausted. I have been noticing that I crash every day like at 2.30, 3 o'clock and there's just no recovering from that. Um, but I do have some stuff I need to get done now that I'm home. I need to put some laundry away and just that's pretty much it. I should clean my bathroom. I didn't do anything on Sunday. In case you're wondering where I've been. Um, my days have been boring and the exact same. So it's kind of challenging for me to be creative with my filming. But I guess that's kind of the point of these videos. But I just don't want all of them to be me cleaning the bathroom and putting my laundry away and you know whatever but we need to get that done and that will be it for the day i did want to give a book update i finished the my body by emily radikowski and now i'm reading regretting you by colleen hoover i haven't read a novel is this considered a novel yes a novel in a while and i've been loving it i started this sunday night and i am like more than halfway done with it i'll probably finish it tomorrow if i'm being honest but yeah this is the book i am currently reading and she just never disappoints me and I know she came out with the soup. Oh, there you go. Can you say hello to the vlog? And I know the second one of the It Ends With Us series came out last week, I believe. So I want to try and hurry up and read the other ones I have by her so I can read that one. Not that it matters. I'm going to buy it and read it anyways. But I said I want to finish reading all of my physical books so I could start getting books for my Kindle. Because I still haven't used it. But we're getting closer. We're getting there. Um, so I just got out of the shower. I have a face mask on. It is the Summer Fridays, of course, overtime mask. Um, and while this sits on my skin, I'm going to scroll on my phone. It's tea time! <laughs> okay, just put on my dress with me. It's tea time, Freddy! Tea time, Freddy. Thanks, Mom. If there's one thing my mom knows how to make, it is a cup of tea. And I will be asking her to make me one forever. But, Freddy just drank half of it while I was in the bathroom. So, I will enjoy the rest of it. And I will continue, and I will continue to read my book, and then it's off to Sleepy Night Night. Look at her, she's trying to be sneaky. <laughs> um, but yeah, that is it for this week's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If not, I, I apologize. Um, but yeah, I will see you in next week's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe down below if you haven't already. And bye!